But now we want to change that logo. So if I go here and I was to select a file, uh, don't know what this is in. Oh, Chrome. Oh, I have a. I have. Okay, cool. I can just drag this in here. Oh, I don't have that kind of a field there. So we'll, we'll just drag this into Google Chrome's folder for now, <laughs> just temporarily. And don't tell Chrome that. I'll delete that here in a minute. But what I want to do now is select that. And there we go. Now it's changed it to that. And now we can go in here and browse the images that we've uploaded or upload more to add that little library right there. But you'll notice it didn't actually change the Game Square logo because we didn't actually set that up to do anything, right? So if we go to the header.php, you'll see the image is being brought in right here. And it's being brought in with a static image right here. But we don't want that to be dynamic. So we should go here to the image that is our logo. Let's just replace the URL. So we can actually just take the source here and we'll open up PHP tag, close PHP tag, and we're going to make this a bit more dynamic by adding in another echo get theme mod. This time the field is going to be the logo image. Hit control S, go in refresh. Go to images. Now let's see if this does what we want it to do. Upload that image. And there we go. So now we have that. Now when you hover over that, it still has the default title and everything. Or not the default title, but the blog info title and stuff there. So that's good. That's, that's how you can change logos out with this. And you can change any image out with that. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. And it's uh it's it's pretty simple to do but it's going to add it's going to require a bit of modifying this theme so just hang tight while we get this done here i'm going to go to the footer of this theme and below the footer widgets here we'll just, we'll go outside we'll, we'll leave it inside that let's add a div with the class of copyright so we'll do that and inside of this we'll actually have php get theme mod now this one will be copyright something you wouldn't expect to be uh, modifiable from the WordPress admin panel it's just not something you change a lot but if you are going to uh, give somebody a theme or somebody's gonna download a theme they don't may not want to have to go into your theme files and change this information so you can just have this little field in the customizer and they can just input their own copyright info right there and that'll be that. So if we hit control S, we go into our functions.php and we add in one more section with all this. We're just going to copy the whole thing and paste it in and say start copy right settings. This is going to be game square copyright. The default is going to say uh, add or edit copyright information. And it's going to the the title is going to be copyright uh, details something like the details details the setting is going to be copyright details and the default is going to be copyright or we'll do the uh, copy twenty thirteen your company something like that because copyright details and we'll take that right there and put that there we know how that's done we done it a hundred times I'm just showing you different things you can do with it pretty much so the label is going to be copyright information yeah we'll just yeah that'll be fine copyright information copyright details I'm leaving something out let's see let's go back here and refresh I think that's all we need, copyright details. Oh, well, it doesn't need to be an image uploader. If we just leave this default, if we just don't add what it is, then I think it reverts to a text box, which would be fine with us, but it doesn't apparently. No, I have an extra closing break, the parentheses there. Pretty sure I'm right about that. Yeah. So if we go here now, it just has a text box, and you can edit that information, and you'll see it's not output id. Did I not save the footer? 
I seem to miss little things quite a bit. We have to echo that out. Little things like that, just ugh. That's the reason I'm glad I can edit a video. So we have copyright 2013 your company. It's not pretty, but it's there. Uh, I'm not worried about the, the looks of it here uh, because that will be based on your website completely. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. Now I can go in here and I can change this. I just broke everything, I guess. Don't click too many things or you'll break stuff apparently. Okay, so now I want to go to the copyright details and change this copyright 2013 uh, Game Square uh, Incorporated. <laughs> and now we'll see it changes right here. Uh, 2013 Game Square. Blah, 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 blah. Save and publish. Now if we go out here and I refresh that page, we have the info there the navigation is terrible looking like it should be but our image didn't update I don't know if I saved that or not so let's let's do that again now save and publish that go here and refresh and there we go so that's pretty much the WordPress theme customizer in a few short parts of the series if you're interested in seeing more of this please let me know in the comments below this was requested many, many times, and I felt like I had to do it. So there you go. If you have any features you would like to see me add to this series, then don't be afraid to ask because there's many things you can do with the customizer, and you may have some questions. I'll try not to be too specific about it. I would rather than be kind of general, you know, kind of things that everybody can use, not just things to to your needs so ask things like that but in the future we'll, we'll be finishing up the widget because you requested more of that you want some back-end options and things and that's completely acceptable and we'll be finishing up this theme right here that I completely ruined with my CSS changing and stuff but uh, we'll be adding an archive page search page and stuff like that I was going to show you how to switch style sheets but I believe with the information I've given you you kind of have the idea of how to do that you just output different information for it for based on whatever you get. If you want to see more though, let me know. Like I said, let me know in the below let me know in the comments below if you do want to see more. But I'm just wasting your time now. So my name is Austin and I will hold on, let me show you one more thing. Let's go to awfulmedia.com slash demos media version two. I am working on the Alpha Media download template at the moment. And all this stuff is dynamically brought in and I have these tabs that are going to have Installation instru instructions and updates and stuff like that uh, that are going to be time stamped, hopefully. So, uh, watch this if you want to see some, some different WordPressy stuff. And I'll be explaining some of that stuff if you're interested in seeing how some of that stuff is done. So, again, my name is Austin, and I will see you next time.